The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam. First Canto, Tenth Chapter, Text Number Four. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on November 25th, 1973, in London, England. During the reign of Maharaj Yudhishthir, the clouds showered all the water that people needed, and the earth produced all the necessities of man in profusion. Due to its fatty milk bag and cheerful attitude, the cow used to moisten the grazing ground with milk. Kamang <coughs> धर्मार्थ काम मोक्षा इन द ह्यूमन सोसाइटी टू मेक एवरीथिंग वेरी रेगुलेटेड द प्रेस्क्रिप्शन इज धर्म अर्थ काम एंड मोक्ष Dharma means uh, to be situated in one's position. That is called dharma. Dharma is not a kind of faith. Uh, faith is sometimes blind. Blind. That is not dharma. Uh, just like we say, varna sam dharma, chatur varna maya system. Varna, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Sudra, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Manaprastha, Sannyas. This combination of eight makes dharma, constitutional position. The, everyone is animal. So if one is not trained up in this Eight principles of human society. So that is not dharma. It is sentiment. Less intelligent class of man, they manufacture some process of so-called dharma, sentiment, but that does not stand very long. Uh, it will vanish. Uh, but if uh, Dharma is uh, accepted on the principles of this varnasam dharma, uh, that is, for material purpose, that is not for spiritual purpose. Although there is hint of spiritual life, uh, still they are prakita. Uh, So dharma artha kamok. Uh, dharma means to stay in one's constitutional position. That is dharma. Artha means keeping oneself in one's constitutional position to get livelihood. Artha. Uh, without artha, livelihood. Kama. The uh, sense gratification or fulfilling the needs of life. That is kama. Just like devotees, they have also got kama. We are trying to uh, become devotee. This is also one kind of kama, but this is spiritual kama. It is not material. Narottam Das Thakur has described, Kama Krishna Karmatvami, because there is Kama, and when the Kama is not fulfilled, generally materially Kama means lust, desire. So if our Kama, lust or desire is not fulfilled, the next Position is krodha. Uh, 
काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मास्चर्य भय दीज आर डिफरेन्ट एसोसिएट वन आफ्टर एन अदर इफ यू इफ यूर डिजायर इज नट फुलफिल देन यू बिकम एंग्री देन आफ्टर बिकम इन एंग्री यू बिकम वेरी ग्रीडी देन यू बिकम बिल्डर देन बिकम इल्यूशन देन यू बिकम फेयरफुल देर फॉर देर मस्ट बी सम रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल टू फुलफिल अवर डिजायर एंड हाउ द रेगुलेटिव प्रिंसिपल कम्स टू बी फुलफिल हियर इट इज सेट काम बवर्स पंजन्य बवर्स मीन्स सावर सावर And prajnana means rain. Hmm? Prajnana rain. So our all needs are showered from up. Therefore, we pray. Eko jo bahu naam vidhaat kaman. God. Rain is not under your control. Rain, it comes from sky through the cloud. It is not under your control. When there is scarcity of rain, it is not your so-called science can produce rain. No, that is not possible. Drop, drop, so many places. Last two three years, huh? so karma, uh, our necessities of life, from material point of view, <coughs> it is fulfilled by rainfall from the sky. If there is no rainfall, you cannot produce anything. Karma huh? bhavsa. This is the. Description during the reign of Maharaj Yudhishthi. Maharaj Yudhishthi was the king of this earth, and he was so pious that, on account of his piety, Krishna uh, supplied everything sumptuous, sumptuous. Now, have you ever experienced? Now, here it is stated. शिशु चूष्म ब्रजान गाव वी आर हैंकरिंग एफ्टर मिल बट इन दोज डेज ड्यूरिंग महाराज दिदिस्टिव स्टाइल मिल को आर सो सफिशियंटली प्रोड्यूस दट बिफोर मिल्क इन द काव इट सप्लाइड मिल्क सो सफिशियंटली दैट दॉट इज कॉल ग्रेजिंग ग्राम Pasturing ground, they become muddy. Uh, they become muddy with milk. Now, with the scarcity of rain, uh, the earth also does not become muddy. It becomes dry, hard. But in those days, with milk, it was muddy. Just imagine how much milk was. <coughs> <coughs> And how it is possible? This is just ma brjana gava poyesu das bati muda. The milk bag was so fatty and full with milk. Why muda? They were so happy. They are so happy. We hmm. could keep the cows happy. Ah, then cows will. Supply uh, large quantity of milk. If the cow knows that you are going to kill it, she is always afraid, always fearful. Huh? Or oh, this man will kill. They can understand. Huh? I have seen in Vrindavan, on cows, 
She was crying because her cuff was taken away. So she was feeling so sorry. Now, in our new Vrindavan, you see how the cows are, cows are happy, how they are doing. They, they are not afraid. This is our duty to keep the cows happy. Just like I want to see my wife and children happy. Similarly, it is the duty of the human society to see that the cows feeling very happy. This is human civilization. Otherwise it is tiger civilization, meat eaters. Meat is not eaten by human It is eaten by the dogs, by the tigers, by the animals. We have created a society for killing cows and eating the meat and maintaining slaughterhouse in the name of religion. It is going. The how can be happy? There cannot be happiness. It is not a sentiment. Therefore, this is most sinful activity, meat eating, cow killing. Most sinful activity. And you have to suffer from it. Unfortunately, these rascals, they do not know so what is the result of these sinful activities. They think this life will go on, and there is no more life. After finishing of this body, everything will be finished. Atheistic theory. Vasya Bhutasya Devasya Kuta Punarāga Manu Bhavya. Kuta. Ah, who is coming? That, that they do not know. Rascals. Ah, we get information from Krishna. Tathāte Āntara Prāpti. Ah, you have to accept another body after this, finishing this body. But they are not responsible. They are so irresponsible, they do not care for the next life. The result of pious and sinful activities. So, it appears that how much strictly the cow protection was there, so that the gava, paisudhas hmm, muda, we were you will see Krishna is always with cows, and how the cows look very happy with Krishna. And Krishna is personally teaching how to protect cows. He became a cowherd boy. He was king's son, Maharaj Nandas, but he was, his business was to take the cows and the calves daily to the pasture in ground. <coughs> and it was very sportive engagement with the cowherd boys. Uh, the cows were grazing and the boys, they took their meals in a poor tiffin carrier. Not tiffin carrier in those days, some or other. And they used to eat them, distribute amongst the friends. Sometimes the tiffin carrier was stolen by one boy. And he was searching, and then it was so just like the boys do. This was the children's life, to take protection, to give protection to the cows, to the calves. The small children, up to six years, seven years old, they used to take care of the calves. And the elderly men, they used to take care of the, or elderly boys, they used to take care of the grown-up cows. So uh, the cows are fed very nicely. Uh, Brajan, therefore Vrindavan is called Brajabhu, where there are many cows. Uh, it is called Gokula. Gokula. Go means cows. And Kula means group. Gokula. Govardhana. Uh, Govardhana hill. Because uh, the cows were grazing on the hill, and profuse grass was being grown, and they are in that. So 
there should be arrangement. Uh, just like here we see there are so many open fields and the crowds are grazing, but they cannot be happy because they know that they are simply uh, raised for being killed. They cannot be happy. So our Krishna consciousness movement is not a sentimental movement. It takes care of all round social organization. It is not a something like religious sentiment. Everything should be taken care of. Therefore we say cow protection. Cow protection. Here it is said, Kamang Vavarsapajana Sarva Kama Dhuha Mohi. Mohi means land. Bhumi. Agni Mohi Gavanamam Maruddhisas Mohi. In another Brahma Sangita, it is saying Mohi. Agni Mohi Gavanamam Maruddhisas Kalas Tathatma Manasiti Jagatrayani. Jasmad Bhavanti Vibhanti Vibhavanti Vishanti Jancha. Govinda Mahadi Purusham Tamaham Vajan. This Mohi word is used there in Vedas, Brahma Sangita. What is that Mohi? Agni Mahi. You require fire. You require land. You require sky. Agni Mahi Gagana. Ambu. You require water. Agni Mahi Gagana Ambu. Marut. You require air. Uh, you require space. These are requirements. Agni Mahi Gagana Ambu. Marut. This is Kala. You require time. Uh, duration. Everything is there. Agni mahi gagana mambu maruddhi sastra. Kalas tathātma. Atma. Atma means this body. Atma means the mind. And atma means the soul. So, in the Brahma Sangita you see, Agni mahi gagana mambu maruddhi sastra. Kalas tathātma manasīti jagatrayāni. Jasmad bhavanti. Jasmad bhavanti. All these things were from, they are coming. Uh, they do not know. Can the scientist say where from so much water has come? So vast ocean, seas. But it has come from Krishna. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Bhumi rāpana lo vāyu khangmano buddhi rīva. Bhindāme pakiti asadhā. Bhindāme pakiti. It is Krishna's energy. Krishna's energy. So the mohi, the land, the land is there, just like in America or Australia, there are so much land in Africa. So much land lying vacant. But <clears throat> they do not know that this land can produce all the needs of life. Sarva kāma dugha mahi. Sarva kāma. Whatever you want. Actually, we are <clears throat> getting, just like we. This Western civilization has created so many slaughterhouses for eating purposes. But where from they are getting? From Mohi, from the land. If there is no pasturing ground, grazing ground, where from they will get the cows and the bulls? That is also because there is grass uh, on the land and the cows and bulls eat them. Therefore they grow. Then you cut their throat, civilized man, and eat. You will ask a civilized man. But you are getting from the mohi, from the land. Without land you cannot. Similarly, instead of cutting the throat of the cow, you can grow your food. 
Why you are cutting the throat of the cows? Uh, after all, you have to get from the mahi, from the land. Uh, so as they are, the animal which you are eating, they are getting their eatables from the land. Why don't you get your eatables from the land? Uh, therefore it is said, sarvakāma uh, dhubhāva. You can get all the necessities of your life from land. Uh, uh. So, dhubhā means produce. You can produce your food. Uh, uh, some land should be uh, producing the food stuff for the animals, and some land should be used uh, for the production of your food stuff, grains, fruits, flowers, and take milk. Why should you kill these innocent animals? You take, you give them muda, happy, and you get so much milk that it will moist, it will make wet the ground. This is civilization. This is civilization. And that was being maintained during the time of Maharaj Yudhishthira. That is being described. Uh, Maharaj Yudhishthira maintained this standard of civilization. Uh, just see how the economic problems will be solved. <coughs> Simply <coughs> by one movement, this Krishna consciousness movement. Try to understand. Mahi, because Mahi will produce everything. Just like here in this let mod he there is so many, so much land lying vacant. You produce your own food. Why you are going to London to the factories? There is no need. This is wrong civilization. Here is land. You produce your food. If you produce your food, there is no need of going hundred miles, fifty miles on your motorcycle or motor to earn your livelihood. Why? There is no need. Then you require petrol, and the petrol is scarcity. Uh, then you require so many parts, so many. That means you are making the whole thing complicated. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. There is no need. Simply you keep to the land and produce your food, and the cows are there, they will supply you milk, then where is your economic problem? If you have sufficient grains, sufficient vegetable, sufficient meat from the land where you are living, where is your economic problem? Why you should go to other place? That is Vedic civilization. Everyone should remain in the spot and produce everything as he requires. And God will help you. Because you can produce from the land anywhere. The rainfall is there. If you have got land and the rainfall is regular, then you can produce anything. Kāvaṁ bhavarsa-pajyarna. And how the rainfall will be possible, how regular rainfall, that is described in the Bhagavata. Jagnyād bhavati pajyarna. Uh, all living bodies subsist on food grains, which are produced from rains. Rains are produced by performance of yajna or sacrifice, and yajna is born of prescribed duties. Yes. Everything is cycle. If you execute your prescribed duties, as a brāhmaṇa, as a kshatriya, as a vaiṣya, or as a sudra, as a brahmacāri, as a grihastha, as a vānaprastha, as a sannyāsī. Divisions are there. Division must be there. Just like government, for executing nicely the governmental business, there are so many departments. Not that one department, only king, queen. Then government, why is the government spending so much money maintaining so many building? Simply Queen's Palace, that 
Buckingham Palace. That is sufficient. No, there must be departments. So these are departments. This Brahmana, this Satriya, this Vaisya, this Sutra, just like in your body. There are departments. Uh, this department, brain, head. This is what is called head, head office. Uh, head up. Why do you refer to the head office? It has come from this head. Why God head? The Supreme God head. The Supreme. Uh, that we say God head. There are many, there may be many gods, but Krishna is the supreme God, head, head God, God head. Uh, that is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Matta paratanam nanyat kinchi jasti dhananjaya. There is no more superior person than me. So the divisions require, uh, the divisions require. 